this video we will see shafts which are subjected to bending moment only. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to my channel Mechazin, if you are new to my channel then subscribe my channel for more videos. Consider a shaft which is fixed at one end, and at other end pulley or gear is mounted. So due to weight of the pulley, it will bend. Bending causes because of bending moment of shaft. So when shafts are subjected to bending moment then we can use the bending equation, which is given as m by a equals to sigma b by y. Where, m is bending moment, i is moment of inertia of cross-sectional area of the shaft about the axis of rotation, sigma b is bending stress, and y is distance from neutral axis to the outermost fiber. As we know there are two types of shafts that are solid and hollow shaft. So first we will see for solid shaft. We know, moment of inertia for solid shaft is i equals to pi by 64 into d raised to 4, and y, that is, distance from neutral axis, to the outermost fiber which is, y equals to d by 2. So substitute this values, in bending equation, what we will get is m, which remains same, upon, pi by 64 into d raised to 4 equals to sigma, which also remains as it is, divided by d by 2. So cancel the from both the sides, we get d cube and divide 64 by 2, what we left with is 32. So after rearranging the terms, what we get is, m upon pi by 32, into d raised to 3, equals to sigma ob. Now we will shift this term to other side, and final expression for bending moment is, m equals to, pi by 32, into sigma b into, d cube. So by using this expression we can find out the diameter for solid shaft. Now we will see for round hollow shaft, and moment of inertia is, pi by 64, into outside diameter raised to 4 minus, inside diameter raised to 4, and we have also derived another expression for moment of inertia in last video. So if you have not seen that video so go and check that video. Link is in description box. So what other expression says that, i, equals to pi by 64, into outside diameter raised to 4, into 1 minus k raised to 4, where, k, equals to ratio of inside diameter upon outside diameter. And why that is, distance from neutral axis to the outermost fiber, denoted by y, equals to outside diameter upon 2. So we will substitute this values in bending equation. So we will get, m upon, pi by 64 into outside diameter cube, into 1 minus, k, raised to 4, equals to, sigma b upon, outside diameter by 2. So we will cut the o from both the sides, and we get the o cube, and we will divide 64 by 2, and we will get 32. So after arranging the terms, we get m upon, pi by 32 into, d o cube into, 1 minus k, raised to 4, equals to sigma ob. So now we will shift this term to other side and we will get our final expression as, m equals to, pi by 32 into sigma b, into d o cube, into 1 minus, k, raised to 4. So by using these two expressions we can find out the diameter for solid and hollow shaft when shafts are subjected to bending only. So if you enjoy this video then like, share, and subscribe my channel Mechorizen for more videos. Thanks for watching.